Hello! Welcome to my overview of AWA 5.0 and tutorial on how to make a Hello World program in AWA 5.0. I'm Temp Tempai. I created AWA 5.0 and uh, I'll be showing you a little bit of this project uh, that I'm very proud of. So first things first, uh, all the information in this uh, tutorial will be included in the description below. You can find the link to this interpreter for AWA 5.0. Uh, very minimal, by the way, <laughs> barely works, so there might be glitches. Um, you can find a link to the specifications for AWA 5.0. You can find a link to the GitHub page that has all my code and information. So yeah, um, let's just jump right in, shall we? What is AWA 5.0? Well, uh, if you can download the AWA 5.0 specifications, I'll just uh, bring that over here real quick. AWA 5.0 a very special programming language for very special people. Oh, also, by the way, it might look like I'm doxing myself here, but that's not my name, so don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just my computer account name. Um, so what is AWA 5.0? AWA 5.0 is a bubble-based, VTuber-based programming language. Um, and let me just show you an example of what a uh, program in AWA 5.0 looks like. As you can see here, uh, it's all written in AWAs. AWA, AWA, Awawa, awawa, awa, 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 and so on. And you can see uh, this awa code, uh, the awa talk is what it's called. Uh, it actually is doing these uh, instructions. So it's taking 25 for multiplying those two together and printing the results to the screen. And in fact, if we copy this, we can actually put this into the interpreter. And let me just delete the new spaces here. And if we run it, as we can see, there is a hundred as the output. So um, it's fully this uh, it's a fully realized programming language. Um, well that's OBS. Hold on where? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> yes. So uh, let me go over some of the terminology involved in AWA 5.0. Uh, Let's just, just dive right in. So first off, uh, this might look confusing to read, but it's really not that bad. It's called AWA talk. It's a way of encoding uh, binary data into AWAs. So you can see this table right here. If it's a binary zero, uh, we represent that as a space followed by AWA. And then if it's a one, we represent it as WA. So let's take an example command here. And by the way, the commands in this language are called AWAtisms. This uh, example AWAtism, submerge five, uh, the command is represented by the number six, and then the parameter is five. Putting that into binary, we get 00110 and 00101. And so the uh, resulting AWA talk for this command and parameter would be AWA, 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 AWA. So simple, right? <laughs> uh, one other thing to note, very important, when you make a uh, AWA 5.0 program, there's always an initial AWA that acts just as a checksum to say, hey, you know, this is a valid AWA program. Um, so you always want to make sure you have that initial AWA at the very start, or um, your program will probably not run. Now, after AWA talk, I wanted to talk a little bit about the main pillar of AWA 5.0, which is the bubble abyss. The bubble abyss is a first in last out stack that contains a series of bubbles. And let me show you an example over here. Uh, a rendition of what the data structure looks like. Uh, as you can see, bubbles can contain one of two things, either a numerical value, or it can contain a number of other bubbles inside it. So it's kind of like a nesting series of bubbles. Um, and when you make a new bubble, it gets pushed to the top of the stack, and the others get pushed down into the abyss. Um, and it's important to note that in the bubble abyss, you can only ever interact with the topmost layer of bubbles. So for example, if you want to do an addition um, of two numbers, of two bubbles, you have to make sure that those two bubbles that you want to add are the first and second in the bubble abyss. So that's the bubble abyss. Uh, let's skip over a WASCII for a second here to talk about the autisms. Autisms are just basic commands. Uh, they're the sort of thing you would see in assembly, right? So there's uh, autisms for printing and reading from console, uh, autisms for manipulating data in the bubble abyss, 
for applying arithmetic and for helping with program flow. So um, it's important uh, to have this as reference um, because you need to know the numerical values if you want to convert it into Awatalk. So the numbers are right here, like blow is associated with the number five. And if you go further down in the specifications, you can find more descriptions on what each of these commands do, all these automatisms do, and how it would look in Awatalk. So let's go back real quick um, to talk about OASCII. You know, I've always felt like ASCII was a little bit, um, what's the word? Just a little bit inefficient. It takes eight bits to represent a single character, but here we finally realize the true form of ASCII in OASCII, which has nailed that down to seven bits. We can represent one character with seven bits. So we have a table right here that represents all the values in OASCII, all the characters that can be displayed on the screen. And it's important to note that the priority to important letters has been given to smaller values. So it's a little bit different than ASCII, so just be careful. Remember, if you want to print strings, you have to use the values, the values associated with the letters. All right, so we've talked about AWATALK. We talked about the bubble abyss, AWATISMs, and OASCII. That should be enough information for us to finally start our first Hello World program in AWA 5.0. So let me go back down here to the AWATISMs. We'll need this for a bit. And I'm just going to pull over a notepad. So how would a Hello program, a Hello World program work? Essentially, we would need to push the values of the characters onto the bubble abyss and then print them out. So uh, we will need three different commands for this. The first will be blow, of course, to blow these values onto the command or onto the bubble abyss. So let's start off by saying, well, we'll write shorthand first to help us through it, but eventually you'll just be writing AWA 5.0 code. AWA talk just freely without thinking about it. So uh, we're going to say blow exclamation mark. So this would push the exclamation mark value into the bubble abyss because, you know, if we're going to do a hello world program, we're going to use an exclamation mark. We're going to be a little bit edgy. And we blow D, blow L, blow R. And this is an important point because it's first in, last out stack nature. The bubble abyss, if, for strings to be represented, you must put them in backwards. So we will continue those until we get to blow H. Uh, so this will represent our hello world uh, string in the bubble abyss. Now, if we want to print it out, the, prob uh, the, the problem with that is... Printing only prints out one bubble at a time. So in order to be able to print the whole string at once, we need to use the surround command. Now surround command uh, takes a certain number of bubbles and encapsulates them in another bubble. So by calling surround 12, it'll take tw the 12 topmost bubbles and put it into a single bubble. And that way, doing that, we can call the print function and it will print out that single bubble and all the bubbles inside of it. So we can just get away with calling print once. And this is what our program looks like. So now that we have the code imagined, let's write the numerical values. So the blow command is a five. So we put in five. But for the parameter, we need to look at the OASCII table. We can see over here, exclamation mark is 55. So we'll put in 55. Down here, blow D, we'll put in five. The D, where is that D? Oh, it's right here. It's 38. So 38. And it might take a little bit of time. So I prepped this ahead of time. I have this list right here, which is all the numerical values uh, for all the characters. H E no H E L L O space W O R L D exclamation mark. And then down here we have our submerge, which is a nine and twelve, and finally a one. Now that we have the numerical values for the commands, we need to convert them into binary. And then finally, we can make the AWA talk. So the binary of five. Oh, important thing to note, all these uh, numbers are represented in AWA talk by unsigned five bit integers, except for the parameters in the blow, which are signed eight bit. So we will represent a five by zero, zero, one, zero, one. And 55, if I remember right, it's 00110111. And so on. 
we'll need to do these for all these, and then we can finally take this and convert it into Awatok. So let me downsize this a second. I'm just going to rearrange this here. Let us expand this a bit. Clear this all up. Let's start off with our initial AWA. Oh, I need to get my numbers in place here. All right, and we can just enter the flow state and begin programming AWA script. AWA, 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 uh, where am I? I think I'm on the 16, right? Uh, awa wa. Oh, I misspelled that. Fuck. Awa, 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 Oh, I miss I misspelled. Hold on. It's getting a little hot. <clears throat> awa, 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 wa, awa, awa, wa, wa, awa, wa, awa, 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 wa, awa, fuck, awa, wa, awa. Awa, awa, wa, awa, awa, wa, wa, awa, awa, wa, awa, wa, awa, 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 wa, awa, 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 oh fuck, awa, 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 wa, awa, no, 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 awa, wa. Awa 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 wa awa 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 wa awa wa awa 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 wa 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 fuck was it wait was that right fuck it awa awa wa awa wa Awa 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 wa awa awa fuck fuck did I already fuck awa yeah 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 awa fuck no wait wa awa awa wa awa wa wa awa 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 Awa, 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 wa, and we're done. All right, let's run that. Oh, looks like I missed a letter. <laughs> well, I'm not doing that again. But as you can see, we almost got it right. And that's really all that matters. So yes, I'm excited to show the world Awa 5.0. I'm really, really uh, proud of what I've done. And I think... Uh, if you're interested in it, I have a couple of ideas for challenges. Uh, one thing you could try to do is try to write a, a Fibonacci calculator. So you pass in a number n, and it will calculate the nth Fibonacci number. You could also try taking in a string and switching around the, the cases. So turn uppercase letters into lowercase. Um, you could also try a Hello World program on your own. There's a lot of different things you can do with this uh, language. It's quite versatile. I believe it's uh, tiering complete, so it should you should be able to do whatever you want with it. Um, but yeah, this was my Hello World tutorial 
for AWA 5.0, and I hope to see you using AWA 5.0 in the future. Awa wa wa.